Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. This one's going to be all about your person's um, energies towards you. What are they thinking or feeling about you at this time? And what do they intend to do? What potential actions will they take in the near future? As always, keep in mind, these readings are meant to be general. So they can cannot and will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching. So just take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, let's jump right in for Sagittarius Spirit Angels Guide. Messages, guidance, please. For, what happened there? For Sagittarius. Regarding the person they are thinking about connecting with at this time, what do we need to know about this individual? What do we need to know about this individual? Need to know about this individual. Their energies towards Sagittarius. Wow, Six of Cups. First card out. Four of Swords. Okay, Seven of Cups. Well, when I see the Four of Swords with a card like the Seven of Cups, I think of someone that is not taking action. They're really just trying to figure something out. Four of Swords is a card about reflection, healing, rest. This has to do with a past situation with the Six of Cups or with like a special connection from the past. Soulmate, perhaps. But I feel like your person is thinking about what to do. Seven of Cups, what choice? Or decision they should be making so let's see what this is all about first let's put down some other energies tell me more for Sagittarius tell me more spirit what do we need to know what do we need to know about the energies that this person is bringing to this connection Sagittarius what do we need to know about the energies in this connection spirit Taking action, time to make a move. What else, what else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? Restoring balance, balance is being restored. What else do we need to know for Sagittarius? The energies of this connection, okay. So only one and one, but I got three. Burdened heart, moving forward and strong bonds. So I feel like someone's thinking about taking a new step, um, taking action towards a new future with moving forward or a new cycle, new journey, somewhere that where they're moving, ahead, you know, thinking ahead into the future. Because there's some issue here with burden heart, some sort of responsibility, weight that someone um, is feeling. Someone could be feeling weighed down. But they want to restore balance now strong bonds this could be the bonds that you have together you know between you or it could be that there's strong bonds or attachments that already exist for your person and maybe that's what they're burdened by we'll have to see but they want to take action i just feel like right now they're just thinking about what that action will be i don't think they've actually like taken any action as of yet okay let's get some clarity out here let's find out what this is all about spirit can I get some clarity please tell me about the six of cups why is the six of cups here why is the six of cups here the moon okay Pisces energy um, what's hidden beneath the surface Doubts, confusion, illusions. Tell me about the Six of Cups. I feel like there's a lack of clarity here over something that happened in the past or over a past connection. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Page of Swords. 
Okay. Tell me about the Six of Cups. What do we need to know about the Six of Cups? What do we need to know, Spirit? About the Six of Cups. Six of Wands. So I feel yeah, there's a ton of wands at the bottom of the deck. That burden. I think someone wants to clear the air. They want to, you know, cut through this murkiness, the unknown, whatever lacks clarity. I feel like someone wants to discuss it or look into it clear the air through communication or there's some sort of truth that someone's trying to figure out here. I'm going to clarify this page of swords. But six of wands is telling me that someone is, is hoping for success in the end of all this. Yeah, there's the ten of wands and the world. So again, this idea of a new cycle, a new beginning. But first there's the ten of wands. There's something to be addressed. Tell me more about this page of swords. Why is the Page of Swords here? Why is the Page of Swords here? The Empress. Why is the Page of Swords here? Oh yeah, okay. So if someone's thinking about the future. Death, Scorpio energy. Yeah, I was going to say, if someone's thinking about the future, and there's the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Now for me as a reader, the King of Pentacles tends to be in a commitment or be responsible for others they provide for others um sometimes they could represent like the ideal partner there's the queen of cups after that but i when i see here with the death card and the empress and this page of swords it's almost like someone's realizing that something has to end in order for something else to grow or perhaps there's a change or transformation needed in order to have man, you know, this abundance, this this creativity with the Empress, this growth. Because the Empress symbolizes growth, um, what you can create, crops growing, you know, um, things being manifested, abundance. The Empress is sitting in a throne surrounded by abundance. So I feel like what's happening here is that in order for someone to have this abundance, something needs to end. Another interpretation here could be that this empress represents a maternal figure or some sort of feminine energy that already exists here. Um, and, you know, if this person is married or committed or has a familial responsibility or perhaps this is like a matriarch of the family, then there's something that needs to change about that. But with the Page of Swords, the Page of Swords, they don't take action necessarily. They communicate, they research, they, you know, have clarity or truth or they begin to un unravel truth and information, right? So I find it interesting that, you know, when it comes to the past, there could be something that needs to end or change, but your person at this time, all they can do is Talk about it or figure it out. And that's why the Four of Swords is here. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords here? Ten of Swords. Yeah, so again, this idea of an ending. The Ten of Swords is a definite ending. Tell me about the Four of Swords. And Sagittarius, I just have to say, I don't really feel you here. Of course, the energies could be interchangeable. Feel free, free to flip this reading if it resonates more for you. But as of right now, I don't see you being a part of this, really. It's almost like your person is thinking about a problem or a situation that needs to end. Perhaps this is, was an ending with you, but I just don't feel that whatever they're doing right now or thinking about it's it's not centered on you if that makes sense i'm not i'm trying to figure out why that is um tell me about the four of swords why is the four of swords here i mean i think that you symbolize this moving forward the world energy you know what's ahead the restoring balance ahead tell me about the four of swords two of pentacles okay tell me about the four of swords what do we need to know about this four of swords two of wands okay so five of swords at the bottom of the deck 
this is the problem, Sagittarius, and I'm not here to sell stories or like tell you what you want to hear or like put a positive spin on things because that's not real life all the time. And I, I don't want to say something that's not here. Um, at this time, I feel like your person, all they're doing is trying to decide. Two of Wands, Two of Pentacles, what to do? What choice do I need to make? And that's where they're at. I don't see anything beyond that. I'm going to have to clarify the Seven of Cups, obviously. But as of right now, I don't see them actually doing anything other than evaluating, thinking, planning, healing from whatever this Ten of Swords is, or planning for a Ten of Swords situation. Now, we have the Ten of Swords on the Death card, so clearly something has to end. And the Five of Swords is at the bottom of the deck, which tells me there's some sort of conflict that your person is thinking about when it comes to this decision. You know, look at this person, they're like racking their brain here. <laughs> so let's see, what's the Seven of Cups about? I don't wanna make it sound like this person is going to take action and move forward because I don't see that on the board. I see them maybe talking about it. I see them maybe having some clarity about what needs to be done, but they haven't actually pulled the trigger here. We'll see in the next spread uh, what they plan to do and their intentions in terms of actions. But tell me about the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Ten of Pentacles. Another ten. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? The Hangman. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm, you know, someone's stuck in this thinking phase or decision-making phase. Now, some of you, I feel like there's a, a family involved or long-term commitment, some sort of attachment in the form of like family or unions, partnerships. Maybe this is someone thinking about their security, their finances. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. What do we need to know about the Seven of Cups for Sagittarius? We need to know spirit. Yeah, Eight of Swords. Fear. Stuck energy. And there's the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So this is what I see your person doing. They're like wrapped up in whatever they're thinking about. But they're not actually like taking action at this time. Um, it could be that they're afraid. It, we're going to jump into their energies in a second to get a little bit more clarity on what they're thinking or feeling about you. But... I feel like whatever's happening here, it's like someone's stuck and all they can do is plan or try to think around the problem, like around uh, a solution around the problem or, or something like that. So let's get a little more insight into what they're thinking. But before that, I want to get some clarity on this connection. Let me get a romance angel. Can I get some clarity on this connection spirit for Sagittarius? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this connection for Sagittarius? This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So I feel like you know this person already. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know for Sagittarius? Past life relationship, you have known each other before. What I just said. Okay, so this is someone that you already know. This is someone from your past. You already had some sort of a connection with this person. Spirit, tell me more about this person's energies, thoughts, feelings towards Sagittarius. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings, energies towards Sagittarius? What do we need to know? I hide behind material things. So immediately I thought about finances, money, stability. This person really cares about money or assets or something that they have or own. It could be a home. Can I get one more? Can I get one more for this person's energy? I replay our conversations over and over. So maybe you don't have, maybe you're not talking to this person right now. Maybe this person and you, since things ended or whatever happened between you and this person, um, they just think about what was said, what was discussed. 
Okay, what else do we need to know? What else do we need to know about this person's energies towards the Sagittarius? You mattered to me and I'm afraid. Okay, so what I'm getting here is the feelings are not the problem. Uh, you, you matter to them. They care about you, et cetera, et cetera. Um, they have feelings for you. That seems to be clear. But I don't think that's the problem. I think the problem is whatever this person has to make a decision about. And I feel like they're afraid to pull the trigger there with I'm afraid. <laughs> and also over here, the eight of swords and the hangman. You know, there's like this person is just sitting around wondering, what am I going to do? What can I honestly do here? What are my options? Because a decision has to be made. Two of Pentacles, Two of Wands. I feel like for some of you, the decision is basically to end something. Ten of Swords. Can I get one more, please? Can I get one more in, uh, Oracle energy for this person's thoughts, feelings towards Sagittarius? What do we need to know? We will be together again. This card keeps coming up in my readings. It's come up in like four readings so far. And if this resonates for you, Sagittarius, check out the collective reading that I did. Um, it was like last week, I think it would be for you guys by the time you watch this. Um, the title literally has, We Will Be Together Again. So um, look for that reading because it this could be um, resonating for you. Um, I mean, that reading will probably resonate with you because it's the same kind of message. Bottom of the deck, time hasn't changed my feelings for you. Again, what I was just saying like three minutes ago, <laughs> the feelings are not the problem. I feel like this person still cares. I feel like they still have a, feel a connection towards you. Um, <clears throat> I feel like this person knows that they care about you, that they want you, that they want a connection with you. It's the other situation that's the, the problem here so let's find out a little bit more about your person's intentions what are their genuine intentions true intentions towards you towards this connection and do they plan to take any action that's kind of what i want to know let's move these over spirit what are this person's intentions or next actions going to be towards Sagittarius. Your intentions, next actions in the near future. Oh my God, that seven of cups is like constantly showing up. What are their next actions, intentions towards this, the near future with Sagittarius? One more shuffle. What are this person's next actions? In the near future, there are true intentions, next possible actions in the near future for Sagittarius. Ten of Cups, the Devil, Capricorn Energy, Three of Pentacles, bottom of the deck, the world. Okay, so the world is at the bottom of the deck. Again, there's that's really like the theme of this reading. I feel like your person, they're thinking and hoping for the Ten of Cups with you. Um, but right now, this is the problem, the devil. We'll clarify to see if they're planning to do anything about that. And the Three of Pentacles, working, building something, working together. But this could also be a third person. Let's get a little bit of clarity. Tell me about this Ten of Cups. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. What do we need to know about these energies? Three of Cups coming together, reuniting. Again, another three. What else do we need to know about this Ten of Cups for Sagittarius? What else do we need to know? The Chariot, Cancer Energy. And the Six of Cups again. So, yeah, I feel like in their mind, this is their biggest, like, their true intention, right? Their intention is 
to have a ten of cups where they can move forward with the person they want to be with. So why is the devil here? Right? Because there's a hangman at the bottom of the deck. Exactly the energy that I'm like wondering about. You know, the chariot, the six of cups, this is awesome energy, but I feel like someone is still stuck um, or they will need to be unstuck in order to make this move. Tell me about the devil. Tell me about the devil. Why is the devil here for Sagittarius? The queen of cups. Okay, the five of pentacles. I feel like finances are a major like issue for this person. Tell me about the devil. Tell me about the devil. The queen of pentacles. Queen of cups, queen of pentacles. I feel like there's a choice here that someone needs to make between two. I think unfortunately your person right now as of the time of this reading It's almost like if, 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 if you were to ask them honestly, they would want to have both. I, I want to be able to have Sagittarius, but also not have to leave my other situation. But that cannot be. Okay, let's look at this Three of Pentacles. Tell me about this Three of Pentacles. And it could also be that this person, they cannot disentangle themselves. Or something's preventing them from cutting loose, from cutting this restriction. And it could be a, a, a financial restriction. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this? Ace of Swords. What do we need to know? about this three of pentacles. What do we need to know, Spirit, about this three of pentacles? Six of swords, yeah. I feel like this person knows what they have to do. There's the king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I feel like they already, they already have this clarity about what they need to do. Ace of swords, six of swords. I need to move forward. I need to leave something behind. Six of swords, very similar to this moving forward energy. But again, this reminds me of the Page of Swords that we saw earlier. It's like, do they want to tell you this is the plan? Or do they have clarity about what they want to do next? Because I feel like it could be interpreted both ways. Can I get some more insight on this Three of Pentacles? Tell me more, Spirit, about this Three of Pentacles. This one. The Tower. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I feel like this person already knows, but right now, yeah, two of swords. They can't decide. They can't pull that trigger. They cannot have this tower as of the time of this reading. In their mind, they're stuck because you know what I think the issue here is, Sagittarius. No matter what choice this person makes, there will be a tower. So they're stuck. They're stuck because they don't, you know, once they pull the trigger, the trigger, if I could talk, it's a, it's final, it's like there's a finality to that. There's, it'll be done and over with, and there's no going back. I'm gonna extend this one because I feel like I really wanna dive into this tower, this ace of swords. I feel like they have something to tell you. Um, I know that the goal is to be together again with you, but I feel like this is the block. This is the challenge, the two of swords, the tower and the six of swords. So I want to get some insight into that to see if there's a, any changes coming with that and this chariot especially. And then I also want to get some insight into this um, devil energy because I feel like this is the big block. So basically I want to clarify the blocks in this connection to see if there are any changes happening with those blocks because I feel like that's the only way you will find out if this is even going to happen anytime soon. I also want to jump a little bit more into, you know, this uh, taking action energy here with the moving forward, because I feel like this six of swords, actually, I'll probably divide it differently. I'll probably divide it with like the two of swords, the ace of swords, and 
may be the devil, because this is like the biggest block. And then I'll also divide the tower, the six of swords, and the chariot, because I feel like I want to clarify the problem and then the action. So that's what I'll do. So if you want to get a little bit more insight into the challenge, the obstacle, and the potential actions your person will make, is this going to happen anytime soon? Can the tarot tell us anything about um, what their actual decision will be? Um, if you want to know about that, then check out the description box. The link to the extended will be there. Otherwise, I'll leave it here. Sagittarius, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will be seeing you all in another video.